So we'll see if Navi can actually pull this one. They're bringing three to secure these bounty runes. Moon Manor's just going to walk in. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. Takes uh, a decent amount of damage here, but, you know. I'm going to have a rocket barrage, but... Oh, they got oh, the wrap around from Chu. That'll All throw right. it. All right, that, that's, that's a way to sort of help the Jaro have a bit of a... a better time than the Jaro should in the lane, given first blood. And his top lane as well. We'll see where sort of Blizzy does decide to put himself off as trying for those those creep cuts have not proved to be successful. He does get the call onto 1437. A couple of spins could set them up for a kill as he tries to chase down the Undying already, though he's lost an echo. 1437 heals himself back up with the Soul Rip. There's a lot of creeps hitting into Blizzy, but Blizzy, he's losing strength. He's getting body blocked perfectly by 1437 as Blizzy, he'll get another call off to give him an extra spin. bit of armor. Tried for the 1437, he does get him as he spins to his death. And look at poor Blizzy. Like this is the axe that usually ends up dominating pretty hard. He can't. He can't do what he wants. So he can't cut the creep waves. They're trying to get these trade kills onto the Undying over and over again. What? They may just get him. <sighs> nice saw rips there. That's now that's that. Look towards Seneco. Seneco in trouble. Will fall. He's trying to chase Blizzy, looking for 1437, but 1437 taunts his way out of there. Blizzy pops a stick charge, but just slowly being right clicked down by In Your Dream. He's on top of them with the Shikuchi. Same time down bottom. Toss back into nice. setup. They'll get Moon. Chu will tick out to the Ignite, but Trista lies. Can he get more out of this? He's got stick charges. They just need more time. And I get this is the good thing, sort of, about. The storm this game, magical can do this. Sort of the biggest threats are being set up upon by a fire blast or a light strike array. But he's keeping it safe, mid lane. Oh, the axe tries to jump in, but Blizzy gets the call off a little too late. They do kill the Aegis, but the timing, he is going to get hit by the supernova stun, but he's at full health. Not a lot that they could do about that. Arjit's going to continue to stand his ground. They're going to go bottom now on Tigers. The line's already been drawn by 1437, and they found themselves the nice. We see the, you know, gold lead. It's, it's it's starting to shift a tiny little bit. And now, while they know that Tigers is starting to split up, they want to look for some plays with these double blink daggers. Only two heroes here on the side of Tigers. They do have the Ogre kind of rotating over. They're gonna try. They get the jump. It's straight away. Choose on top of them, ready with the follow-up disabled. Do they have the damage to bring him down? Magical. And with the four take to drag it back. Arch is still alive. The tree got through. They get the kill. They kill the Huskar and the Tombstone. Maybe see if they can chase for more. Wonder Kid does hit the backup coming in. Tigers, they're bringing a Moon and Zephyr ready to turn this fight around as they found the Phoenix. And Crystallize gets the cooldown. He's able to flack as well. A lot of damage flying out from the Gyrocopter. 1437 still alive with the with the Soul Appeal coming in for onto himself. They get a double kill for the Weaver, but Navi, they're striking back. They found three. And they got Magical. He's in with the control. Vortex onto the Weaver. Navi take four kills from Tigers as Moon he'll hide, hope to survive in the pit, but they'll find him as well. Triple kill for Crystallize. Force the issue a little bit here. Storm Surf, we see Magical. He's not really near the fight. He's starting to port his way down in the Tombstone. He should be able to farm it up. So Nick, oh, he he right in. He's going to get the Supernova off, though. Can they kill the egg in time? They're trying. Moon's punching in. They do get the egg. They take it down, but Jaro... He crystallized, moving in with a BKB. Arjit tries to jump in, but he loses in life immediately. They've lost the Huskar. They'll lose the Ogre as well. And Navi aren't done. Zephyr will turn for the TP. Does he manage to get out in time? He does not. Blizzy in with the dunk down. And on the side, the missile. they found the stun. The missile connects. They're on top of In Your Dream. But he gets the Shikuchi out as the avalanche ends. Hiding in the trees. They're hunting. Will they see him? He's going to go for the TP. Is there any sort of AoE stun to catch him? There is not. So In Your Dream will escape. The best sort of save they have is a Soul Rip. And then in terms of sort of decent Disable and, and ways to keep Navi off it. There's a fire blast and a light strike. If those spells aren't used perfectly, Navi are going to be able to fight. And once again, magical. Zip straight in. They're on top of the Huskar. The spirit vessel down onto him as well. And with a BKP on Crystallize, he's straight in on top of him. They get the kill onto the Huskar. There's going to be a buyback from RG as he's TPing into the mid lane. He wants to desperately try and fight back. Blizzy stands his ground, beats down the tombstone. They've lost the Phoenix, but the torn, the spins. Blizzy, he'll bring down the Undying with him. Tigers, they have to try and punch back for more with that buyback from RG. And in your dream, chasing down Crystallize, Crystallize, he's got Magical by his side, is there anything Magical could do to keep that Jaro safe? There is not. So Tigers will be able to at least trade, take core kills with them, making it work big time. As he's getting those items, Tigers still though, they do have 
the ways to force the fights as they're straight down the mid lane. RJ onto the tier 3 tower at the same time. Magical, he's looking for a bit of split push on the Storm. He's actually taking a tier 3 tower down himself. And now back off, go for the TP back to base. Fire Blast comes out onto the Phoenix, but not enough damage to kill him off. Snaker will be fine. Jump forward. They get the call onto the Husker. The Supernova's well. He's gone. He was silent. He couldn't get the Aghanim's time lips. In your dream, could not get the save. As Tigers, they've lost three. Navi, they're not done. They want to make sure they clean up the entire lineup of Tigers. They have lost Blizzy, but this is what I'm saying. With the axe, it doesn't matter if he goes in and dies, because he can set up the rest of his team for glory. 1437 will escape, but again, Navi holding these defenses, and that silence onto the Weaver. Perfect. Navi seemed to have thwarted this Huskar. It's magical. Silence onto Moon. Quick zip in. There is an Agnim's time. That's from the Weaver saving Moon once. It's not going to be enough to keep him actually alive for the full duration as they zip in, kill him off. Full set of racks taken by Navi on the top lane. In every one of these team fights. Yeah, and they have 21 deaths combined bottom on Tigers in their bottom lane. 21. Oh he gets broken straight away with the BKB crystallized looking on top of them. They've lost the Weaver. There's gonna be no Agnim's time. That's PKB's out from Argyr. He's gonna try his best to fight back as Crystallized is focusing the tombstone, keeps his distance away from Argyr. The BKB now wears up for the both of them. Magical. Zipping straight back in. Has he got the control? He's being fire blasted, multicast in fire move, but he's in. The vortex comes out. Argyr won't fall. Double kill for Blizzy again with the call for Blizzy. The triple kill from the axe. The zombies do kill him, but Tigers, they get team wiped. Navi doing it time and time again in this game two. As game one, many people may have been quick to write Navi off in this series, but with a performance like they have shown here in this game, who really is the stronger team out of the two of them? It's just getting harder and harder and harder versus Navi's lineup. Their timing window has disappeared as Weaver's farm is completely stopped too. And then the leader! Oh, Blizzy! Straight in the three by call! Three dead on Tigers as Blizzy once again! A GG. Oh, you gotta tap out after that! You have to tap out after that!